first time vlogging in months. So I thought I'd show you this snake. He's my new friend. Oh, boys and girls, look who it is. Look, we're back. Even Anna's here. It's cold. It is cold. The reason we're back, the reason we're doing a vlog today, let me show you something, look. Just, there's something significant that is not around us. Today, right now, literally for the last 20 minutes or so, mm. is the first time since June. June? That you've not been with Andy? Well, no, I had one day in August. One day in August, what happened in August? Christina. Oh, of course. Okay, we went to Christina Aguilera for one day in the summer, but that what aside. <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is the first time since August then that you've been this far away from Andy. <laughs> he is, uh, we've been very quiet, just vlog wise about this in general, about what's been going on, mainly because we don't want to share too much and accidentally give you information that leads to you finding out stuff we don't want you to know. That will make sense in a minute. Uh, but basically Andy is in the process of transitioning into, is it assisted living? Is that what you call it? Supported. Supported living. Um, he's in the process of moving out basically. And it's something that we've been trying to get up and running since before he left school. He left school pretty abruptly back in June. Mm. We were thinking he was there until the end of July and the plan all along had been, he's there until the end of July and then has the summer holidays, the six weeks off at home with us as normal. And then September, his transition was supposed to start. But due to circumstances outside of our control, the school chucking him out a month early. And then- well, no, we had no social worker. Well, it, it started with the school chucking him out a month early. And then his social worker left. And then a new social worker came in and they left. And it took a while to get the third social worker. So we basically were in a situation where he had a room in a house that was his and set aside for him from May, June time, really early on in the year. He was ready to move in. The plan had always been he would move in in September, but then the brakes just slammed on because he didn't have a social worker and there was literally no one to sign off on it. So it then got delayed and delayed and delayed to the point where the other three people he's going to be living with all moved in before him <laughs> which he was supposed to be the first one into this house wasn't he and they some of them have been there since the summer and he is now finally at the point where he can start his process so for the last couple of weeks he's been getting to know the people who work there they've been coming out to see us at home um, or see him at home I suppose and um, they've yeah, we've we've been out we've been out on a couple of days out with them. We've spent a few days in the house that he's going to be living in with them. Um, but today is the first time that we've driven him there, dropped him off, and then just left him there to do his own thing for the day, mm. haven't we? We think he's going bowling. I've booked it. Oh, you've actually booked it, have you? Oh, okay, I didn't realise you'd booked it. Um, yeah, he's going bowling, gonna get on the bus and go bowling and do it all without us. He's only there for like three or four hours. Um, it is, we're still very early in the transition process, but from next week, he starts going there every day, just, to, just for days, like school hour days, which he's gonna do for about a month or so. And then he starts nights, one night a week at first, gradually building up. And the plan is that by the end of March, so it's the end of January as we record this, by the end of March, Theoretically, he should be ready to move in fully. Now, that is something that is completely... Hold on. Oh. <laughs> My arm's aching. Um, oh, just had to swap arms. I'm out of practice. That's something that is not set in stone. It's very much a case of we take everything at his pace. If he finds it too fast, we can slow it down. If he finds it not fast enough, we can speed it up and move that forward. Because, I mean, today, when we've dropped him off, he, uh, he didn't even want us to come in, did he? Mm -hmm. He just wanted us to drop him off outside. We were asked, it was asked there on Tuesday, it's Friday today, he's asked every day to go. He really enjoys it there. I think he's enjoying having a little bit of freedom, a little bit of independence. The fact that they can take him out and do these things. You went riding up and down lifts with him the other day with them, didn't you? And he enjoyed that. 
but yeah, it's... Um, he moves too fast. He does move too fast, yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we need to go through this process, because... Well, you're we, the lift man. Yeah, we can't take him out and do all that stuff with him that he wants to do. He wants to go out and do stuff every day. He doesn't have school anymore, but because I'm working every day and... I'm broken. Well, it's not a one-person job to take him out, no. even on his care plan now. The, it's very much, it needs to be two people to take him out. So Anna can't take him out on her own. So he's kind of just in the house all day. And then we'll sometimes take him out for weekends. Like we've got another vlog coming up. So we're going to be taking him to Nottingham this weekend to do his Nottingham thing. So we can do bits and bobs here and there at weekends, but I wish we'd have had, I should have brought the big tripod with us. But <laughs> we, um, yeah, it's not something we can do all the time, which is what he wants to do. His schedule for next week is bonkers. He's doing, he's going swimming. He's, he's, yeah, he's going bouncing, bowling. bowling. He's got a trip to McDonald's. I think they're doing Some lifts and churches. And, and Yeah, he's basically got an activity every day next week. He will go out, he will do a thing, and then he'll go back to the house, spend some time in his room, which is slowly taking shape. We've got a chair in his room there now. Um, we've got a TV. We got him a TV, but the TV was broken, so we're trying to now get a different TV. There's a bed on the way. We've ordered like a, a super strong smash resistant bed vandal proof. vandal proof yeah we'll we'll see is it might be vandal proof but is it andy proof i know there were people saying oh you're gonna give us a tour of the house a tour of his bedroom no um one of the reasons for this video is just to give you as much information as we want to let you let, let you have and let you know what's going on because obviously a lot of you have been involved in the story for years so you want to know how the story ends but we obviously don't want to tell you where he's living what part of the country he's living in. We don't want to tell you um, who he's living with. Give you any, we don't want to give you any kind of clues because obviously the vast majority of you are lovely, but it only takes one person to be a freaky little weirdo. Kevin. And well, that's exactly what that kind of person would need to be and try and get their detective work on, catch a glimpse of something out of his window and narrow down where he is. If we get any speculation in the comment section on where he might be living, that's just a permanent ban, block, deleted. We're not interested in any kind of speculation Maybe on that front. Maybe turn the comments off. I'm not going to turn the comments off because I think the comments will be lovely on the whole. Um, but, yeah, just... Don't, don't be wangs, yeah. Let him... The whole point of this is for him to go out and be independent and do his own thing. So I urge people not to try and find him. That's the point. Um, he's fine. He's enjoying it. You'll see him in the next video because we're off to Nottingham. Uh, but, yeah, don't, don't try and hunt him down. Don't try and find him. If you see him, if you happen to see him out and about and we're not with him, don't talk to him. Leave him alone. I'm the YouTuber. <laughs> if you want to talk to somebody when we're out and about, you can talk to me. And if I'm with Andy, that's fine too. If it's Andy on his own or Andy out with his... It won't be Andy on his own, but if it's Andy out with the carers that he's working with or other people that he's going to be living with, leave him alone. Please. It would be weird to talk to him. And we'll find out if you do, because he'll be filming it and Anna's still editing his videos. And they so, tell us. So. Yeah, so we'll know if something weird happens. But yeah. yeah, we just wanted to put this video out to let you know he is fine. Anna is, as you can see, really fine and happy about the whole thing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually thinking we'd get some tears in this video, but... Oh, I've already done that yeah. multiple times, you've seen. I get hyperventilated and can't calm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to cry. Out. Obviously, you're having some feelings, aren't you? Yes, Kevin. <laughs> it's horrible. Don't do it. Don't Keep do them it. at home forever. Yeah, so Anna's struggling with it a little bit, so be nice to Anna as well. well I've, I've, oh, why did I, I, grew, I had a childhood, and then I had a child, and that's all I've known for yeah, 18 you, years. Yeah, you had him at 19, were you? Yeah. So, yeah, you've, your entire adult life, you've, your purpose has been Andy's mum, and I'm trying to convince her that from April, you're I'll allowed to have your own mom. life. You'll still be his mum, but you won't be his carer anymore, so you can do your own thing you'll be able to go out and get the surgery that you need to fix yourself which you haven't been able to do for 18 years even though you're supposed to have it when you became an adult when i stopped growing yeah when she stopped growing she was supposed to have surgery it was a foot surgery or back surgery or Leg both surgery. yeah various surgeries 
that have been delayed for getting on for 20 years, you can now fix yourself and go out and do your thing. You did your degree. You can go and do Have whatever you want. Yeah, there's all sorts of all sorts of shenanigans you can get up to. We can go and see the world. Mm. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but for now, I mean, long-time viewers will, will know the first thing that Anna wanted to do when she knew she was going to get some time on her own. The first time in eight months that you've not had Andy with you. What was the one thing you dreamed of doing more than any other? Have Wagamama. So we're going to go and have a Wagamama. Before we eat though, one of my favourite shops in the world, Magazine Heaven. I'm going to get my wrestling magazines. Should we get magazines? Oh, well, you've got them digitally. Yeah, but there's nothing quite like reading them as a magazine. Here we go. Wrestling magazines. The only shop I've ever been in that actually sells them. Magazines purchased. As, uh, as Anna mentioned, I've already read the ones that I bought in there, but I do feel very important that I support them because I want to encourage it because it's the best shop in the world. So I've just spent £12 on magazines I've already read because it's so cool. I also was trying to get Anna a hobby in there because she doesn't have one. I was trying, showing her tattoo magazines, scooter in magazines, one that was just full of diggers. I haven't found her a hobby just yet. If anyone has hobby suggestions for Anna, let us know down in the comments. You have bought, you have bought knitting tools, haven't you? Awesome. Knitting tools. Compulsory stop in Tiger to get Stroop waffles so I can pretend I'm back in, back in Amsterdam. Not the, did, did we have a lot of Stroop? We had a bit of Stroop waffle there. I'm sure we got supermarket ones there as well. It wasn't as Stroop waffly as I was led to believe it would be. If you watched any of our Comic Con vlogs or anything last year, you would have seen me and Pab searching around all sorts of shops all across London trying to find jelly cat stuff because Anna wanted jelly cat stuff. She was very specific. She wanted the vegetable stuff. We eventually found her. Uh, call her the carbon and carrot and stuff. But one thing we saw everywhere was an octopus. And we always ignored the octopus because she said she wanted the vegetable stuff. They had jelly cat and water stones. She, she picked out the octopus that I could have bought a dozen times over. Even the woman on the counter said the octopus is the best one they do. Hmm? What else have you bought in there? Which one's mine, which one's Fandy? I guess the mini golf is for Andy. And you've got yourself a Zen Garden litter box. We're not getting a cat. No, but it's a tiny one. I don't understand. It's You're just scraping. I don't understand. It's for chilling. Chilling, okay. And then I've got Andy mini golf. With a wind nice. up windmill. They're curling in there. How well. how long do you reckon it'll be until Dave has knocked that litter box all over the floor? I'm not talking to him. Dave bit Anna's bum yesterday. Aggressively. Uh, so I no longer talk. Yeah, Dave is uh, Dave's being a bit of a wang at the moment. He's defending his water, I think. So we need to move where his water goes, because every time we go near his water he gets grumpy and he bit Anna on the bum. So they're not friends currently. Anna has reminded me she does have a hobby. So we're uh, we're going into game. She's going to buy games. That's her hobby. She has a game, so she's happy now. What game did you get? Dead new Dead Space. Is that a remake or a new game? It's a remake. Very exciting. Oh, boys and girls, it is time for the main event. We're now going to have a Wagamama. We've had a disaster because the the miso cod that this one has been wanting for eight months isn't on the menu anymore. Should I go and buy you a card and ask them to miso it up for you? She's very sad. <laughs> you shouldn't have stopped coming. I didn't. You haven't been for a long time. You were obviously keeping the fish afloat. Oh, look at that. Vegan squid, which I think is mushroom. Is it mushroom? It's awesome. And some delicious bang bang cauliflower to go with it. <laughs> and for my main, a no duck donburi. Yeah, I've accidentally gone full vegan. I didn't realise I was doing it when I was ordering. I just like the vegan stuff here. That's it's good. How much chili? That's a lot of chili. You're just having mushrooms by the looks here. Anna has gyoza ramen. It's not quite cod, but it looks pretty nice. You do like a ramen, don't you? Um, 
that was delicious, but I am now full on sweating and my mouth is on fire. There were so many chilies in that. My nose is streaming. It was so nice. I am now going to discover how my gallstone responds to spicy food. I know I can't have like really fatty foods, takeaways, junk food, that kind of thing at the moment. Can I have spicy food? It's one of the reasons why it's probably a good thing I went accidental vegan for the meal. Because at least then lower cholesterol, which is good, I think. I don't know. I can't think straight. Oh, that was... Disappointing. I thought it was delicious. Anna is gonna sulk forever, but they don't do the miso card anymore. It's completely off the menu. It's not that they'd run out. It's just not on the menu anymore. If anyone could suggest anything on the Wagamama menu, it's not a bit like salmon. it. Um, and not the mackerel as well. They have miso mackerel, which is not a, not a mackerel guy, are you? I'm not a guy. Certainly, doesn't like mackerel. What are we doing now? We're supposed to pick Andy up at three, it's two. Um, we've got we've got time to kill. A little bit of time to kill. We've been in shops that are interesting. The rest of these are for mums. Have a drive around. A drive around. Well, if we're going to have a drive around, I think we'll probably say goodbye on this video. Like I say, after weeks with nothing, there will be another video pretty soon because we're off to Nottingham tomorrow to ride the trams. You've never seen that before, have you? That's going to be groundbreaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best thing. But for now, I think that gets you pretty much up to speed on what we've been up to and where we've been. So thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Toodle pip.